last week in their win against Arizona State. When I watch this guy play, one of the things that is remarkable to me is not only his ability to create, take shots down the field, but he does that without turning the ball over. He does not have a turnover this season. That's what Lincoln Riley praises first and the most when talking about this young superstar. Williams, 20 of 31, 322 yards passing, accounting for five touchdowns, three passing, two rushing. First down. And he'll throw it near side on first down. This ball caught Taj Washington. He'll get it up the field for positive yardage. On at the 36, here's Williams throwing it. Underneath, ball caught, scooped up off the turf at the 40. That's Washington once again. Taj Washington. Williams looking, pumping, fires, caught at midfield and that'll be a first down brendan rice the former colorado player and the son of the legendary jerry rice on the road in terms of development than what patrick was at texas tech second down and 10 and here's williams rolling out of the pocket and he'll go out of bounds at the 30. chased out of bounds by jacques robinson to potentially draft number 13. Empty backfield for Williams. Marshawn Lloyd lines up as a receiver at the bottom of your screen on third down and four. Watch Williams. He may run this one. Here's Williams pumping, looking, taking his time all day to throw it. Buys more time. Side on throw. And it's caught. Washington across the field. Hits the sideline. Touchdown, USC. 71 yards. It's like clockwork, exactly what we were just discussing about Caleb Williams. His superpower emerges right here. Nothing there initially, and he doesn't panic. And the reason he doesn't panic is he knows that he has a, a weapon on his right arm. Look at this throw. He's rolling left throwing down back right down the middle of the field and he just has all sorts of torque velocity the ball is thrown back here's the play fake williams off his back foot caught and a touchdown in the end zone dorian singer and sc with a chance to go up 21 to nothing well, this is a really good throw from Caleb Williams, a really good throw. They're running the crossing route after the play action, so they get the linebacker out of there. The linebacker's out of there, and then watch Singer coming over from the right side. There's Juwan Mitchell, the linebacker. He steps up. Now Williams buys time, and then right up on the face mask of Singer, and Singer, who they've wanted to get going. There's a touchdown here against Colorado in this offense. And he gets out there. That's when it starts to get going again. And then we can get a... Explosive, successful play. Second down and 11. Williams steps into his throw. Touchdown, Mario Williams. 24-yard strike, and SC goes up 27-7. to Boy, this is a beautiful ball. And Williams runs a good route, but man, there was all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Watch the middle of the field right here, and they're going to exploit that. And all he's got to do is get over the linebacker. Once he does, there's no one there. The safety split way outside of the hash. That's a mistake. Here's Williams. Delivers, and that one caught by Rice and the first down. Caleb Williams, prior to that throw, 11 of 14, 187, three touchdown passes, no picks. Sideline throw caught again. Boy, he can get that thing off his hands quickly. Michael Jackson, the catch. And, and from every angle, did you see him dip down almost three quarters right there? Caleb Williams would have been a great shortstop. Every arm angle. First down at the 37. And some misdirection. Washington, first down, flag on the play, though. Oh, this one is way back in the defensive secondary. Williams, quick throw, caught, Rice, down the sideline, dives, touchdown, SC, 26 yards for Brendan Rice. This Caleb Williams with four passes.
passing touchdowns in the first half. And this offense is just too difficult to stop. Here's going to come this little RPO. So you got the back, and then out of the backfield, Williams can just throw it off his back foot, sidearm out to Brendan Rice, who is a specimen. 6'3", 210. He makes Trevor Woods miss and then races for the pylon, clearly gets in, and the former buff, buff, comes back to Folsom Field and gets into the end zone. Caleb Williams over the middle, and it's caught by Lloyd. He picks up the first down. Clock will stop briefly. Second down and 20. Marshawn Lloyd, the running back, splits out wide. Top of your screen. Williams dancing around. Crosses the line of scrimmage and goes out of bounds at the 33 and one at the 25. Williams over the middle and it's caught. Mike Jackson, first down, SC. God-given natural ability. Second and six at the 40. Williams with time delivers, caught. At the 12-yard line, Mario Williams. Caleb Williams. Over the middle. Touchdown. Guess who? Brendan Rice again. Seventh receiving touchdown of the season. And SC takes a 40-14 lead. To the sideline. First down and more. Kyron Hudson. So, you know, he's having a phenomenal season, better than a year ago, and he's going to have huge games against the guys that he's going to compete with later in the season. Second down and goal of the three. Lloyd back in. Play fake. They dump it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Jude Wolf back up tight end with the touchdown. Six touchdown passes for Caleb Williams. And that ties his career high. He did it against Texas Tech in 2021. Watch as he reverses out and see how he extends the ball. Beautiful ball handling. And then that gets the linebacker to commit to the quarterback. And then Jude Wolf. Six touchdowns, six incomplete passes. And he's thrown for 374 yards. And this is coming into today, his numbers from a last season to what he is this season. He's a better player. And better or worse, like, he's going to be compared to last year. Here's what I would say. I'm a Heisman voter, and all you stodgy Heisman voters out there that think that it's like, we can't have a repeat winner, why not?